Hi guys, Steph here. What have we got for you today? Can you guess what it is? A lovely, lovely pen. Well, some of you will look at it and say, yes, I know what it is. What we have here is a Waterman's Taperite fountain pen. This particular one made in England. Now, very briefly, if you look at it, you may look at it and it may actually look familiar like so. The reason being is that the Waterman's Taperite, well, basically, around about 1945, mid-1940s, um, in fact, maybe even earlier, Parker brought out the new Parker 51 with the hooded nib. And a lot of manufacturers of that particular period um, saw the pen, saw how successful it was, and they, if you like, they sort of sort of got on the bandwagon, if you like, to sort of compete with the 51. And this one is actually Waterman's answer to, well, yes, the Parker 51 of that particular period. So, as I say, what we have is the Taperite fountain pen. Now, although this is the Taperite, um, the Waterman's Taperite, there were actually, there was numerous, well, there was actually lots of different colours. There was lots of different caps available. They brought them out in a plastic cap with a, with a cap band. The caps themselves were all different colours, etc., different patterns. So they, they brought them out in lots of different, um, different trim, if you like. Um, they also brought them out in different names. Uh, Leader, Crusader, Citation, Medalist, just to name a few. Now, this one, as we'll show you, is a superb, well, a superb example. It came to me from a customer of, uh, for a service. We've, we've cleaned it, put a new sack, etc. It'll be going back today. But it's such a beautiful example, I thought, right, let's do, let's do a review on it. As I say, they came in different colours. They came in black, I believe grey, red, tan, blue. This one, um, I'm hoping it's clear for you, is this lovely green colour. As you noticed earlier on, it's actually a lever filled fountain pen. You can see it's got this very recognisable Waterman's, what we term as a spade, spade lever. Again, you would have noticed the cap there. It's actually a lovely, lovely cap. It's actually, well, let's show you. To the front there, we've got Waterman's. And if I turn it round for you, Let's keep it nice and still. I'm hoping you'll be able to see there, it says rolled gold. Also, you'll notice the pattern. It's actually these sort of thin lines running the length of the cap. So, because of the lighting's quite bright, let's try and keep it, or give you different angles to show you. So the pattern itself is these well, as I said, these lines running the full length of the cap. A superb example, as I said. To the very top there, very recognisable Waterman's clip. You can see it's got Waterman's to the centre of the clip. And this one is, I term it as their sort of like an Art Deco clip. Very reminiscent of the period for Waterman's. And to the very top there, we've got this lovely... Again, gold, sort of rounded stud to the very top of the cap there. So, all in all, superb example. One thing I've just not shown you, actually, let's show you the barrel imprint, which, again, is lovely and clear. You'll see there it reads, Waterman's Taperite, and then underneath, Made in England. Let's give you a different angle. So Waterman's Taperite, made in England there. Also, the Taperite pens, the Waterman's, although this one was made in England, I do believe they were made in US and also in Canada as well. But all in all, this one, a lovely pen, lovely condition, 
a lovely example. The size of it from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel, it's a nice 134mm capped. Around the barrel, it's a lovely chunky 12mm in diameter. Now, if we take the cap off, give you a couple of twirls, show you the pen in different angles. There we go. Incidentally, again, the cap itself, again, competing with the Parker 51s of the period. Inside the cap, we have a clutch ring. Again, very similar to the Parker 51s. So the clutch ring would sit on this clutch. Um, well, the clutch inside here would sit on this clutch ring here. And again, for the date of this pen being sort of 1940s, early 1940s, it slips on nice and snugly. So again, what they did, they sort of copied, if you like, or got on the bandwagon with this um, cap closing system with the clutch and the clutch ring. Now, let's take you up to the section there. Again, for you people that know the Parker 51s, again, it's very similar. And again, they brought out this particular section. And I believe the, the name Taperite actually, it refers to this design of this hood. Again, very sort of reminiscent, very similar to the 51s. You can see the nib there to the top is, I would say it's a semi-hooded semi nib. If we give you a sideways version there. Let's show you the feed underneath. Again, the feed underneath. Again, everything's been cleaned internally. So it's in lovely condition. So the taper right in my, I believe, refers to this section and also this semi-hooded nib. Because the taper rights, again, they actually brought them out with what we term as an open nib. So it wasn't a hooded nib. It was an open nib. So again, lots of different variations on this pen. Incidentally, although you can't actually see um, any imprint on the nib there, um, when I actually took it all apart to clean everything inside, the imprint on the nib, actually, as opposed to most most nibs reading across it actually reads lengthwise so the imprint is actually lengthwise well to the nib and it actually reads Waterman's 14 carat and then to the bottom inside it has a W dash T with three dots and I'm not too sure maybe the W T refers to this being well a Waterman's Taperite and maybe the three dots again very similar maybe to Parker indicates what quarter the de the pen was actually made so all in all as I said superb example um, Waterman's answer if you like to the Parker 51 from the 1940s sort of early 1950s this one being this gorgeous green example a lovely comfortable pen to hold once again I've got large hands for me it's a lovely comfortable size of pen right yes I know you people yes we want to see it writing well okay well as the pen is actually going back to the customer today um, I'm not going to fill the pen up because I'll leave that to the customer because as we said we've put a brand new uh, a brand new sack in the pen so what we'll do we'll dip it slightly we'll try and keep our fingers away from the the ink there just to give it a little bit of writing sample to see how the pen pen writes so what we've got is a Waterman's as we said this one being the Taperite um, made in England around about I don't know maybe sort of 1945 this one being 
a green example as we said earlier made in lots of different colors it doesn't have any flexibility the nib it's well it does very very slightly I would say very very slightly on a on a downward stroke we can get a slightly a slightly broader line than we can on the cross stroke so a very very little slight flexibility but basically it's writing with a lovely fine line as you can see there and what we've done we've we've smoothed the nib slightly just a little bit on the scratchy side but it's writing very very nicely indeed so let's pop that to one side let's move the ink to one side let's just give it a wipe and what we'll do before we send it back to the customer we'll flush the nib out but let's pop the cap back on and there we have it an absolutely wonderful waterman's taper right incidentally like i said earlier um, they had all different names to the different models and some of them well again they had lots of different caps etc and by simply looking at the cap we can actually we know which model it is this one as we said earlier has got waterman it's a roll gold cap it's got the lines all running the length of the cap but unfortunately apart from it being a waterman's taper right maybe it has a specific model name so if any of you people out no, out there know that this has a different name um then why not share it with the rest of us so that we can all learn so there we have it a gorgeous waterman's taper right fountain pen made in england in gorgeous green lovely pen tony so it'll be coming back to you hopefully later on today but I hope you people enjoyed looking at this pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you. Leave a comment below, subscribe, and if you possibly can, why not support my work? But for now, I'll just say bye-bye for now.